Scorpio, welcome. I hope you're doing well. If you're new here, you're very welcome here. If you're returning, welcome back. This is going to be a free general read for my Scorpio babes. If you ever need a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal and Cash App links. I am starting personal reads again. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing them, especially the last few that I did. So if you need a personal reading, let me know and I will get you taken care of. Spirit, help me get clear and precise messages, block interferences and negativity, return it to where it belongs. Thank you. First sign showing up for you is Leo with the sun. The sun is in Cancer right now. As well as the moon, we have the new moon in Cancer just happened. We have Venus in Cancer, Mercury, the moon headed into Leo, Mercury headed into Leo, Jupiter in Gemini, Mars and Uranus in Taurus and Saturn and Neptune in Pisces, Pluto and Aquarius. Um, you could be a bit adventurous right now or in the coming days. Um, especially with this new moon in Cancer that we just had, you could be dreaming about getting away. Um, not only are you dreaming about getting away, for some of you guys, I am seeing you going through some kind of ending of some sort, but it's a short ending. It's a very short-lived ending. Um, I keep seeing horses and horseshoes for you guys, as well as the element of fire being brought up. Um, not only are you dreaming about getting away or could you be planning to uh, get away, but it could be a getaway between you and another person as well. Um, you could be shifting, your, your focus could definitely be shifting from this, you know, adventurous, dreamy state in the coming week back into reality and achieving your goals. You could have gotten sidetracked from a lot of your goals, um, throughout the end of June and into July, and now you, you'll you get this boost, especially if you're a creator, you'll get the boost to achieve the goals that you've been needing to. Let's see. Um, right now, especially in cancer season, I always say whenever cancer season comes, this is the month where I'm crying. It's cancer season. I'm either crying because things are so good and life is so sweet, or I'm crying because things are so terrible. There is no in-between. I don't know how cancers do this uh, all year long, very emotional, but just watch your, watch your emotions and while all these emotions are kind of happening, especially as we shoot towards Leo season, Try to remember that planning for a Scorpio is fun. Um, you may be networking with a lot of different people and there are a lot of people who won't, who don't like to plan for anything. They don't like to plan for the day, for tomorrow, for the future. They don't like to plan, they, they live off spontaneity. Um, but for you, a very controlled fixed sign and a water element sign, you, Remember that you enjoy planning. Planning, whether it's work, home, or a vacation, a getaway, a, a goal. Planning is half the fun. Um, planning an event, you know, um, getting there is half the fun. And this could be of some um, importance for you and a new person that you're coming together with. The planning of the future and the planning of what you want to do and what you want to be. That's half the fun, so make sure that you're embracing it and enjoying it. Um, with me, with uh, the fact that I keep seeing horses over and over again, they can represent freedom, independence, triumph, nobility, confidence, endurance. Um, and then between yesterday and today, seeing horses, I keep seeing horseshoes separately though. Um, I found an old horseshoe thing that I hung up. Wow, that's freaking crazy. I used, I didn't even, I didn't put the two together. 
I used to, I can't even, I can't even think of how long ago it was, but a long, long time ago, um, I moved into an apartment with the person that I was with at that time, and really all I had was all of my childhood memorabilia, and I had this horseshoe sign that said welcome and it was made out of horseshoes and I hung it above our door. Well horseshoes are known, they represent luck, um, protection, and magic but that same apartment, not even, probably a month after I moved in, it caught on fire and I got trapped on the balcony at the top floor while it was burning. I lost my dog and I lost everything inside that fire. But the only thing that made it out of the fire was that horseshoe sign, that horseshoe welcome sign. And as I, and now it's been, golly, it's been 15 years, give or take. And I'm going through my belongings and getting everything out of my garage in my new home. And I found that horseshoe welcome sign. Um, some of you may, may you know, um, look at, try, try to get some horseshoes and hang them uh, uh, around your house or keep them on your property. Some of you may already do that. But looking into horseshoes and horses and what they represent spiritually and symbolic in symbology, um, I came across the story of St. Dunstan. I had never heard of it before, so the story goes... St. Dunstan, he wasn't a saint in the beginning, but he was working as a horseshoe worker in England, and the devil himself walked into the place where he's working on horseshoes and demanded that he be shooed. So St. Dunstan shooed the devil, gave him new horseshoes, but while he was doing it, he caused as much pain and agony as he could to where the devil himself was begging him to please stop and give him mercy. And St. Dunstan agreed to stop and give him the horseshoes if he made an oath to never come into another house where a horseshoe man is working. And, like, first of all, what a badass story. How have I never heard of this? Second of all... There's something important about it for you, Scorpios, where you may be on the grind in your own little world and the devil himself comes to you and demands things from you and you need to remember the power, the magic, and the luck that you have on your side um, to where even the most wicked of souls could be begging you for mercy, forgiveness, or begging you to stop. This also tells me that coming up, you might want to be careful of the oaths, contracts, and deals that you make. Some could be Irish, English, Scottish. All right, your first message is Psalm 121a. It says, the Lord, shall the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. On the back it says, Lord, I pray that you will keep me alert to Satan's clever attacks and help me to conquer him. So there's something extremely important, like I was just reading because all these scriptures are not addressing Satan himself. And this story talks about the devil himself. And it says Satan himself and his attacks. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth. And even forevermore. Scorpio, I think you need to say a prayer about the energies that come towards you and the energies that go out. If you're meeting new people, if you're in a new connection, prayer in that connection, for that connection, and about that connection, it's extremely important right now, as well as protection. There's some kind of ending that you could be going through, but it's extremely short-lived. It's a short ending. 
and it's a but it's a necessary evil and a necessary ending so that what you have moving forward you can really understand it the first phrase you have is slander here um it definitely feels like old energy cruel intentions sex cruel intentions and then good health um slander money same sex so Someone could, especially for my feminines, have your name in the mouth and in their mouth and could be saying things about you that are not true. Um, you could end up, it's almost like you don't even need to do anything. These people that have crossed you in the past, especially for my Scorpios that were deeply betrayed by people you deeply loved and trusted, someone is going through hell right now yeah and right under that is broken ring that's this 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 short-lived ending um you could be dealing with someone that has a lot of leo in their chart maybe a leo moon or a lot of leo placements fire and the horse someone could love horses send you a picture of horses pay attention when you see them right now as well as horseshoes and pigs However, someone having your name in their mouth could affect you in the upcoming week or the rest of July. You could be seeing 666 and 777. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and Leo again. Just kind of name for Scorpio. So fire and water here a lot. Got Uranus, Libra. Bottom of the deck, we have Saturn, that's Pisces energy. Top of the deck, we have Pisces again, Aries, Leo, Sag, Mercury, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Jupiter, more Sagittarian energy. Pisces and Sag could be um, important right now as well. A little bit of Aries. So a lot of fire and all the fire signs out here, water. It could be a Libra that's saying stuff about you. Or any of a Leo, maybe any of the signs that I just Thank you guys for hitting that like, comment, subscribe, getting these numbers up. It's a very cozy day here. It's raining. The temperatures have cooled down uh, a little bit where it doesn't feel quite like hell on earth where I am. And it's just nice. We've got visions, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, and out-of-body travel. Somebody could have a lot of cancer in their chart. Coming in for Scorpio. There's Sanctuary and Waterfly again. Transparency. Holy shit. There was a time uh, recently, I'd say about a month ago, where you were craving transparency, honesty, purity, uh, genuine communication, genuine connection, like, does it even fucking exist anymore? And it's like, now it's coming in. Here, here is this freedom, this horse, fire-like, um, self-determination, independence, uh, fiery, seven energy again. Hmm. 
We've got telepathy wanting to show up. You and another person could share a lot of emotions with each other. Damn, dude, psychic and telepathy. So you got some kind of emotional, mental connection with someone. Y'all don't... What's great about transparency is even though it comes out of each other's mouths, it's not even necessary... The verbal communication isn't even really necessary because you're obviously talking to another person and it's genuine, it's pure, and it's authentic and transparent. It just makes it that much more beautiful and special when it's verbally spoken because the two of you already know. You and someone could have a lot in common or you're a lot alike. Coming in. Beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. Oh, should have known. <laughs> and then divine sensuality, making love and erotic. As your overall energy. Um... This is really beautiful and special. This You could be very used to divine masculine kind of relationships and Scorpios um, usually appreciate that, but there's something very like feminine and sensual about this connection. Some of you could be attracted to the same sex. Others of you, you could have people saying that about you and first of all, so. Second of all, no, you know, so it's just something like that. Man, there's something coming in for y'all. Look at that, dreams and wisdom. There's something coming in for you guys, though, that y'all are about to be showing out and you know you could you could be a look certainty like there's so there's like a heavy psychic communication here you could be maybe newly dating someone that also has like psychic gifts they're extremely intuitive could be another cancer pisces scorpio um, you get all the clarity and authenticity that you need from this person, and it's just beautiful. This um, boastful, this beautiful thing that's about to be happening for you, if it's not a relationship, it's an accomplishment of some sort or a coming together of something. Whatever it is, though, it's beautiful inside and out. It's authentic, it's genuine, it's graceful, it's lovely. Um, you are, you could be a bit anxious because you know that beauty triggers the ugly in others. Jealousy, slander, you know, all kinds of ridiculous stuff like that. It's coming in with visions and telepathy. Wisdom. Wow, look at that communication. I'm telling you. Damn. All right, telepathy and beauty. <laughs> Fate. Divine sensuality. We have the candle with illumination. Whew, this is pretty spicy. Damn, all this red, I'm telling you. Like, Scorpio, what you doing? What you doing this weekend? What you doing this week? What are you doing? But um, something with that fire and horse energy, 
Um, this could be like reigniting your passion, your spark, your confidence. I haven't used these in a long time, so I really want to. You and another person could really just like crack each other up. enjoys um, spoiling you. You enjoy spoiling someone else. You could be really worried about the past trying to show up and rain on your parade. But they might want to watch their step just because we have rescue coming out, more red. Yeah, there's something about, consider the source. So there's something about like false allegations, but we have rescue. Number five, help, an help another to help yourself. You and another person could kind of have saved each other in a way. It's coming in with telepathy and fate. Strength. Nurture your diverse talents, number 10. Five and 10. Fate and beauty. Coming in. We have the unseen, trusting your growing potential, number 11. And pure, number 25, honor your temple, especially with divine sensuality, uh, with purity, illumination, divine sensuality, like. You want something forever, and so does somebody else. Something is growing and stronger and stronger, and you could be so tired of hiding the good because your past, for some reason, thinks that they can cross those boundaries. If this becomes an issue in, in the future, Scorpio, know how to protect your boundaries. Especially because y'all always have stalkers. Y'all are always the ones that got fucking stalkers and weirdos. Unhappy with their own lives, so they gotta feed off yours. Fucking weird. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. I'm fucking telling you. Mm -mm. A lot of my Scorps may not have really like uh, believed in the twin theory just because it does kind of um, glorify some toxic traits, you know, uh, not to mention two souls split or one soul split into two. It's, you know, it's kind of a lot, but there is twin flames in this card. Twins in this cart, and twin is showing up here as well, with fire right there and horses right there. 
Both of these pure and divine sensuality have wings as your outcome. Something feels very like angelic, very spiritual coming in. And then for Scorpio. Yeah, um, whatever ending this is, in the future you're going to be grateful that you went through it because uh, you were definitely saved from something and end up with better than you could. You, it's, you could be feeling like, kind of like, not like guilty, but like, like, how did I get this? It's coming in for Scorpio with rescue, wisdom. It's rescue. Somebody has got a lot of Leo in their chart. It could be you. Damn, we got ungrateful and then groupy. You and this person could resonate with each other or you could just resonate with other people that have been in situations where groupies played a, a role. Somebody could have been acting like a groupie with this person and that led, I mean, it's, ungrateful that led to trauma and then somebody you know you could have been in a situation where another person was acting like a groupie and that led to trauma for you y'all could really like bond over this strength and telepathy it's the second time mom is showing up for you guys leo again somebody's mother could be a leo strength and telepathy it's coming in. It's coming in. Yeah, something feels very kind of like childlike. <laughs> Dang, pure showing up twice for y'all. This is this is really nice. That was a lot. Pregnancy tests and blackmail. <clears throat> Queen, narcissist, twin, compassion, haunted, lust. So some of y'all may have someone that's the same gender as you. All right, we got sex popping up and court. Somebody could be going to court. It may not be, it may be you, it may not be. What's coming in with fate and the unseen? Someone may be taking, damn it. So this Libra energy keeps popping up and it's got, yeah, player and my player with groupie and trap. Libra showing up again. Always stalking y'all. Y'all could have a fucking Libra stalker. Um, investigate anger and watching you with messy. What's coming in? Fate and unseen, just one. <laughs> New love again. You may 
have to have strength, nobility, some fire in you to get either through your court case or another person's court case. Damn, restraining order, justice, and pretty little liar. Some of you guys may be taking care of something or someone once and for fucking all. Like, whew, lord. Somebody may be going through a lot of karma right now. Um, that has a lot to do with something that they involved you in that you had nothing to fucking do with. Shouldn't, yeah, different leads. Heartbroken, unbothered, and got shit to do with you. They should have left you alone, left you out of something. New love, beauty queen, again. And tripping and freaking out, like, um, with perfect and pure. What's the overall energy? Pure divine sensuality and illumination. Some people, too, like, with that showing out energy, it's like you're getting the real deal on something. And you didn't have to go about it in a grimy way, in a karmic way, sleeping with anyone to get it, cheating. Like, some people will do anything to have what they think they want. The way that you're getting what you want is in a very pure way where there are standards, stipulations, rules, and it's genuine, it's authentic, it's transparent, it's not tainted, there's no lying, manipulation, cheap, gross. None of that exists and that could that, that's going to piss off the people who had to sleep their way to the top or cheat their way to, you know, like, ugh. Overall energy of pure. One more. Yeah, you're, you already know it's going to piss people off. I don't think you care, but I do think that you're extremely protective right now. You're, you could be going into a very protective, like, you know, way of being. <laughs> I'm telling you, and what you're getting, it, like, it, it's like, uh, damn. Some of y'all are like coming together with another water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's why the pure and all the water energy is here. A lot of y'all could be dealing with another water sign, a fire sign, or they have both in their chart. Um, okay, I'm going to meditate on these, and I will catch you in the tarot. Bye.